Hi, welcome back to my studio and I have been working on my Tudor room box and I've just been working out the wrinkles on the downloads which I think are all correct now so you can now download the workshop for the shabby sheet table and also for the um, free issue. So that was good. And so I finished my uh, Tudor fireplace And I got the windows uh, glued in, the frames on the wall. And I put a rush mat down on the floor, which I think kind of suits the room. And really, I'm just going to put a wall hanging up there and that will be finished. Oh, well, I've got to make Walter. Now, the other thing that I did was I visited uh, a friend of mine who, who was a doll maker and Diana and her group of ladies uh, gave us a lovely afternoon tea and I took some members along from my club. So uh, it was interesting to compare their doll collections and our dollhouse dolls. They are different and so I've, been, I've done a few photographs to show you. So with these dolls, the older dolls are from the 1830s and they are from uh, a lady called uh, Robin, I think. No, Jane. Jane's collection. And they were like the sort of dolls that went in dollhouses weren't necessarily in scale. They just sort of put any old doll in dollhouse. And Rio's dolls, which are the smartly dressed ladies, are all 12 scale or slightly smaller than 12 scale. So they look really lovely in 12 scale houses. And that's the difference. Around about 60 years ago, manufacturers started to make dolls to go with doll houses. And that led to a sort of a separate movement, if you like, between dolls and doll collectors and doll makers. And so now you have kind of two different types of dolls. But all good for us. And, and some of those older dolls look fantastic in some of the older houses. So apart from that, a um, little sojourn outside and out into the wide world. I am going to finish off my Tudor house and my Tudor um, room box and then get on to Beacon Hill again and get that ready for the party. <laughs> 